Hey guys, it's Keezy here today, and today I have a very exciting video for you. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Cult Gaia by Bratz Chloe doll. All right guys, so I'm excited about today's video. I have had Miss Chloe here for a little while, since the Cult Gaia drop basically. I also bought Yasmin, but I just wanted to open her off camera, not do a video. Plus, she only had a high ponytail, so there wasn't really much for me to film as far as restyling her. But guys, let me know. Do you guys want me to do restyles, even if it's just a simple restyle and I don't really change anything? Anyways, let me know down in the comments below. Without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at the box that Chloe comes in. Chloe comes in this big, I want to say this is a trapezoid shaped box I don't know I did I fail geometry maybe it has this big window here that almost looks like a real window so it's not square it's kind of rounded at the top which is cute it also has this foiled printed writing here that says cult Gaia of course and then here in the bottom left corner it also says cult Gaia with a star and brats and of course right here it says Chloe. Right here you see this beautiful artwork of Chloe. I really, really love this. It almost looks like she has some little jewels right here, but they didn't give her that on the doll. But maybe that's just the art style. But I really love this art style. And this hair, we're gonna try to get her looking a little bit more like this hair. So we'll talk a little bit more about that later. Here at the top, it has this handle and it is this electroplated chain. Of course, it says brats dangling down at the top. It seems like they really like using these dangling chains on all the collector dolls, because I feel like every single collector doll since like last year has had this kind of incorporated into the design. Here on this tag here, it says Cult Gaia Bratz. And then on the back, it just has a little bit of information about the doll. You can pause and read this if you would like, but I don't feel like reading it. <laughs> on the back, you have these two big artworks of both of both Yasmin and Chloe in their second outfits. And then it also has a read up about the dolls as well in a couple of, couple of different languages. And of course it says Cult Gaia Bratz. And yeah, I really like this box. I think that number one, I love the artwork, like I said before. And number two, I think the box really does feel really premium. But yeah, I like the really holographic shift. Um, it does have two windows on the side here as well so that you can see the doll's second outfit and you can also see um, Chloe's on the other side. Yeah, I think this would look really, really good on your shelf if you're an inbox collector, but I'm not. So what we're going to do is go ahead and get Chloe out of her box prison. All right, now that we've got Chloe unboxed, let's take a look at the accessories that she comes with. Chloe has this blue to yellow ombre bucket hat. It has this little embroidered cult Gaia on the very front. It has some, some yellow stitching and there's no design other than the stitching on the back. It kind of gives me, I don't know, Los Angeles, California vibes. I don't know why, but that's just what it feels like to me. Also, Chloe comes with a second pair of earrings. They are these gold flowers that look like they dangle a little bit. They have a little bit of a stud here on the very top and they are molded really, really well. They almost look like real metal, and because you can kind of see like what would be like the grooves of the metal. I'm pretty sure that this is a design of a real earring by Colt Gaia, as are all the pieces that the doll comes with, because that was kind of the point, is that it's a collaboration. <laughs> of course, we love electroplated jewelry on this channel. I don't really feel like this goes with her second outfit, but maybe it does. So we'll see what it looks like on her. Chloe also comes with a second bag. It is this silver electroplated bag. It almost looks like it's fabric, but it's actually not. It is a molded piece, but it is molded super well. Like I love that you can see like the grooves and the fabric. It has a, what looks like a metal handle on it that's tied in some knots. And of course it has a little chain in the middle just to link everything together. It does have a little small molded on Colt Gaia logo. They made sure to get their branding on everything, right? <laughs> the back, again, just kind of has that dip that looks like it's, yeah, fabric, but it's not. I really like the shininess of this piece. Like, you can see on camera how it kind of reflects the light. I think it's a really, really nice piece, and I will definitely be getting some good restyles out of this. Uh, they did this, for sure. 
Oh, and of course I forgot to mention, they do come with the classic star brush. Of course, this brush kind of matches her second outfit color, that kind of purple mauveish color. I know this is super exciting. I have a ton of these. And now we'll take a look at Chloe's second outfit. So she comes with this pink feather top. It is a crop top and it does tie in the back. I think the straps on the back of this dress are done so beautifully. You can see that it's tied there and kind of looped together in a really beautiful way. And the outfit also comes with this pink chain mail skirt. It does have a super big slit up the side, so it's definitely giving sexy vibes. Under this, it does have a little sheer kind of pink panel. I don't know what they included this in here before because I mean, it's, it's still not gonna give any modesty or anything, but hey, we don't care about modesty over here. It does clasp on the side here with a little silver clasp. I kind of wish that this was gold just so it would match the earrings a little bit better because again, I'm assuming those earrings are supposed to go with this outfit. It's almost the exact same color and material of Paris Hilton's first outfit dress. But I, again, I really love the way this moves. It's super shiny, it reflects the light so beautifully. And yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna put Chloe in this, but I'm definitely gonna put a brass doll in this outfit. Chloe does come with this mannequin stand. It is silver and it has a little star at the top. It does have this waist clip as well. And it attaches into this base right here. I think this is a really nice addition. I believe that these came with the formal funk dolls. So I'm glad that they kind of gave that throwback to some of the OG lines. And yeah, it's a really good way to display your clothes. Of course, you could put, you know, other brats clothes on this, on this mannequin. I think it's a really, really nice addition. And I totally forgot to mention, if you buy this doll, make sure that you check the cardboard box that's right underneath the doll that, that kind of elevates Chloe in the box because you do get a stand here. It is a peg stand. I like these so much better than the saddle stands because of course they have the little pegs on the bottom of their feet and this just makes them stand so much better. And then also that mannequin stand also comes with a fourth piece to complete the star and to just help it stand a little bit better. Chloe also includes a Colt Gaia by Bratz a certificate of authenticity. So of course you can read this as well if you would like but it's on this super shiny cardstock material. I like that they, that they include these. It makes the doll feel a little bit special, even though this is not like a limited release or anything like that. All right, so Chloe's first outfit purse is this white pearl round purse. It has a gold clasp right there. It does open. It's super small, so I'm not sure what you would be able to put in there but it does have this electroplated gold handle that kind of hooks onto the arm. I think that this design is super interesting. Of course, it has a Colt Gaia logo at the very top. And yeah, I think this design is super interesting, it's super unique, and honestly, I like this piece. And Chloe also comes with a first outfit earring. So they are these dangling gold earrings. They have two hoops that are connected together, kind of opposite of each other and this bottom piece is like a clear translucent blue it kind of looks like it's supposed to have some marbling to it I really like these earrings I think they're very uniquely designed which I think a lot of cult Gaia's pieces are and yeah I think that the blue goes really really well with her outfit Chloe also includes two bangles on her first outfit. I'll just go ahead and outright say, I don't think that these purple bracelets go really well with her first outfit. They definitely will go better with the second outfit, but they are these big kind of oversized bangles. One is a square and one is a circle. The circle is a little bit smaller as you can see. It has this kind of grooving, almost woven effect to it. I think that this is, again, another really mold, really nice molded piece. And yeah, I think these are really cute pieces. I just think that they will go a lot better with her second outfit. And now we'll take a look at Chloe's first, first outfit clothing. So she has this glittery butterfly top on. It secures around her body with a couple of straps, just kind of like her second outfit. I almost don't want to take this off of her because it's tied so nicely. It just has a little crisscross in the back here and then it's tied down here with what looks like another crisscross. 
Of course, it has some applied glitter to the front. I know that this top is super popular right now. It's definitely like a throwback to, I believe, something that Mariah Carey one wore one time. And hopefully, I'll be able to get it back on her in the same way that they put this on her. <laughs> And now we'll take a look at Chloe's first outfit pants. So they are again this blue ombre kind of a jogger style pants. They have some yellow stitching on them. They also have these really big oversized working pockets on the bottom of both of them. You can also see some ombre straps hanging down and sewn to the side of the pants on each side. They are high waisted. I don't know if I mentioned that. She does have a couple of belt loops right here that are also working. On the back, of course, you can see some pockets that also are real pockets. <laughs> By the way, these dolls were worth $60 each. So yeah, I think it's still a good, I, th I think it's still a decent price for what you're getting because this outfit is super duper detailed. The pants are made out of kind of like a satin material. I will say that they do kind of feel a little bit thin, but overall it still feels like a good material. And of course they do have some uh, underwear inside of them just to keep them from riding up and down on the doll. But yes, I really, really like this piece. I honestly wish I had these pants for myself. Can somebody find them for me? Do they come in men's? And last but not least for clothing, let's take a look at Chloe's shoes. So they are these kind of platform sandals. For the heel, instead of a straight heel, they have a big round O for the heel. Of course, right there you can see on the bottom, it has Colt Gaia molded into the shoe and it is on both sides. Of course, the bottom of the shoe has a peg so that you can put her on the stand. Yeah, these pieces, I feel like they've started making the shoes out of a different material because yeah, these feel really, really thick. Of course, the shoes do have these two yellow straps on the very front. And of course, they are pegs because this wouldn't be brats if they didn't have peg shoes. So this screening was done by LWRE Repaints. Hopefully I said that right, but I'll definitely be tagging them down below. But yes, the screening was done by them. So it is a very beautiful screening. So Chloe has some light brown ombre. There aren't any like brush strokes for the hairs and the eyebrows. They're just kind of like a solid eyebrow. And her eye is super interesting. So of course she has blue eyes, which I think is typical for Chloe. And for her eye makeup look, she has kind of like this light kind of soft blue color for her crease. And then she has this white kind of color for the eyelid. She does not have any top eyelashes, which was a very interesting choice. For her lip, she has this peachy nude glossy lip with a little bit of a darker lip liner lining the lip. So for the articulation, this is the 2018 Hayden Williams collector's body. So of course she swivels at the head. You have a twist right here at the bicep joint. Of course she can bend her arm here as well and she bends at the wrist. The legs are not articulated, but they are a bend and snap. So this is gonna be kind of difficult. Anytime you have a new doll, it's always hard to, to do the bend and snap, but they do bend and snap into two different clicks. So yeah, they have a click joint in the legs. And of course she has her pegs for her feet. And now we'll take a look at her hair. So Chloe has this kind of champagne blonde hair. It is super wavy and super curly. A couple of pieces of her hair is lightly gelled, mainly here in the front, but the back seems pretty soft. Now that we've taken a look at everything that she comes with, let's go on to restyling some hair. All right, so let's start out by doing the thing that made every one of you guys subscribe. I know this was the thing right here, washing some doll hair. I've done this about 16 times, so I'm not gonna walk you guys through the process, but I will be doing an initial shampoo just to get out any of that excess crunchy gel. Thank you. 
Okay, and now for the actual reason you guys are here. <laughs> We're going to start out by toning Chloe's hair. Some people like to use a hair mask, but I'm going to be using purple shampoo today. And I just had this one on hand because my hair used to be blonde, so I used to use it on myself. So I just got this from my stylist, but I'm pretty sure you can pick this up at like Marshalls or Ross. The reason why I want to use purple shampoo is because it honestly gives you the most control. I don't want to do a hair mask because of course you have to leave that and then let it sit in the hair and that could run the risk of making the hair turn lavender and unless that's the look that you're going for you probably shouldn't do that. You're going to want to work the shampoo throughout the hair really quickly and really thoroughly just to make sure that you're going to get an overall even tone. I rinsed and repeated the process about four times even though I really could have gotten away with three but the hair should get lighter and lighter every single time that you do this. I also used a dog brush just to comb through shampoo throughout the hair to again make sure to get that overall even tone. And since we've shampooed the hair so many times, we're going to put a little bit of moisture back into it by using some conditioner. I'm also going to be using a new tool, a dog brush, which you saw me use earlier on her, just to make sure that that conditioner is completely coated throughout the hair. And once the conditioner has been combed through her hair, I'm going to leave her to sit for about 30 minutes to an hour and then move on to the next step of the styling process. Okay, so over the past couple of weeks, I've been watching a few too many vintage hairstyling videos, a few too many drag videos, so I knew I wanted to give Chloe kind of like a vintage page boy, kind of vintage wave looks. So what I'm going to do is go in first and kind of give her some kind of face framing layers so I can properly execute the page boy look. What's great about Chloe is that she comes with pre-curled hair, so I didn't have to curl the hair or do anything fancy. I really love the hair texture that they gave her because it's kind of different for Chloe. And of course her hair is nylon, so nylon is just the best to style. It's just so much more fun. I also pulled back some hair on her left side, just kind of how she had it originally, except for I'm going to hide the rubber band behind her ear so it's not visible. Okay, so now moving on to creating the page boy. I actually did half of her hair off of camera. I don't know that I'm going to necessarily give you guys a tutorial on this because I'm not 100% confident that I can really tell you what I did. Honestly, what I did was just kind of work it and work it and work it and work it until it looked how I wanted it to. Um, I will say I am using that the, these little alligator clips that I got from Target to set the wave into her hair. This is just how you do a classic page boy. I would recommend that you go on YouTube and search page boy or vintage hair tutorial and they'll give you a better idea of how to do the style. There's so many videos here. But once I've kind of set everything how I think I want it, <laughs> I just go in with a little bit of hairspray to fully set that and fully hold all of those waves. Uh, but I do end up doing a little bit more work once I take out the pins, so. All right, friends, and this is the final result. So this is my restyle of Cult Gaia Chloe. How do you guys think I did? Please leave me a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts about the restyle. 
Honestly, I am so surprised that this is my first Bratz restyle on my channel because Bratz is actually what got me into doll collecting, so they definitely have a special place in my heart. I love this cult Gaia Chloe. I honestly want a second one so I can put her in the second outfit and maybe do a different hairstyle on her. But yeah, tell me what you guys' thoughts are. Of course, leave a like on this video if you found it helpful. Also, if you feel so inclined, please subscribe to my channel. We're almost at a thousand subscribers but yes I love you guys I hope you guys have a great rest of your week and I'll see you guys in the next video peace so different Baby, I'm never coming down Baby, come on, feel it